Hi, this is Vilna Furstenberg with this month's edition of Tips and Tricks. And we are going to make a page using the Studio Calico main kit, just layering text in three layers. So how I did it is I created a Silhouette Cameo cut file that I will give to you as a download. And I used three pattern papers and I made the exact same cut with all three papers. As you can see in the next slide, um, I used the craft wood from Echo Paper Park. It was one of the cuts that I made. And I'm basically going to layer it in three layers. So it's going to be very textural. So first of all, I want to see exactly where do I want my text to go. And then I'm going to use the basic gray. It's a tape that, that I just love. It's like transparent. It's not quite vellum, it's a little bit more glossy than vellum. And I'm just going to stick it down. It's going to be the bottom of the page or the, the bottom layer. And you're not going to see it in the end. It's going to be covered, but I think I'm going to like the texture of it. And then basically you're going to position your text. And the first, oh, first I'm going to use some ink with the Mr. Yui's and this is a quick trick if you want to if you don't have time to let it dry properly just use a towel like I'm going to do now and just blot off the wettest parts and now you basically can carry on so I'm seeing where I want to put my words and I just love the saying the more thankful you are the mo more beautiful this world this world appears so that's going to be like the title and the journaling of my page even though I'm going to add some journaling as well so basically this is the first layer I did use some embossing powder on some of the page on some of the lettering just to see if it's going to make a big difference but in the end it didn't make such a big difference for, for me so just quickly stitching it down, creating more texture with the, with the, I almost said suturing, the sewing. And then once this is done, I'm going to add more layers of text to this page. And I'm also going to show you my process because what I learned from digital scrapbooking is that you can toggle a layer on and off and sometimes a background works for one page but not for, for another page and I think this is a perfect example of where I almost hated a page until I changed one little thing and then I loved it. So using my hot glue gun making sure that <laughs> because there's two mores and I think two this and to make sure that the correct more goes on the correct more that they match so i'm just using now i'm mixing the other two pattern papers that i had and the thankful word you can see there was embossed but it in the end it didn't make too big of a difference for, for me so i decided not to put it into the tutorial So I'm just putting the letters again, the wrong O first and then the right O. I love my hot glue gun. Um, I use it a lot We're on my pages, especially for words like this. I think it creates texture, just that little bit of a dimension. And I don't know if you can see it here, but when I put the words down on the hot glue, I don't squish them down. I literally just place them and let it touch here and there. And that creates a lot of dimension. So now I'm going to use the white opaque Mr. Yui. And I'm just going to add a little bit. It's a little bright for me. So I'm going to tone it down a bit. And I'm going to tone it down even more. As you can see. Okay, now I'm going to start finishing my page and at first I used this very bright and I love this 
paper, the pattern paper from Basic Gray. As a background, in the end, I'm going to go with something else. But just finishing my page is a give and take, always like that for me. I add stuff and I take it away before I stick it down. I wanted to mat the photo, just using a little bit of the wood, the craft wood paper again, just top and bottom. The little feathers from the wood veneer feathers from Studio Calico, which I love. I love feathers. And then I took this paper from Pebbles called Cena Noted and I cut out the speech bubble. Now, this is a paper that I will keep and I will cut those speech bubbles out for a long time to come. I just love them. As you can see, I used the mat for the pictures, also from the studio, from the silhouette die cut. Again, just saving those little bits of scraps. And they are scraps that I love and that I just keep forever. Um, this is also a good example of what I mentioned before, the background paper making such a difference. I like this paper, but in the end, I went with a softer look and I think it complemented the page more. Here you can see the the texture of the layered text. And this is the point where I just took it off this basic grey background and I put it on the Studio Calico paper called Pop, which is pink and white polka dots, which I absolutely love and I think it softens the look. Both of these papers that I used for background, the first and the second one is from the Studio Calico's card kit. And I think it's a beautiful, beautiful little kit for cards. So there you are, my page is done. I, I journaled with a Sharpie on the picture and then I just went below it on the, on the white cardstock. And there's the done page. Thank you so much for watching the video. And I hope to see your pages. Bye-bye.